the third of Ross's exhibitions of urban landscapes, Rickmansworth Scenes, dedicated to the place Ross lives and works. His expressionistic style narrates scenes that evoke memories of places people have a relationship with. I've seen Ross in action and it's an interesting experience how he actually performs his art. His distinctive style is called heavy impasto. Ross likes to interact with all the people in his paintings and has a story about all of his creations, which he considers has enriched his own life. Creating an impasto painting requires the use of a large quantity of paint. The estimated weight of paint he used in his 267 underground series was a quarter of a ton. Wow. And if you put each one of them end on end, they would reach the 72nd floor of the Shard. Well done. <laughs> well, take my mind. Um, there are two statistics I can actually uh, normally surprise people with because you know, I've surprised myself. So we're here, and this is just my experience of, uh, of Rickmansworth. And I'm really pleased to say that there are people from obviously from the council that are here because actually we really appreciate fact that for one you're putting on a show like this you know, to let, allow artists to be able to exhibit and also the fact that um, you know, Rickmansworth for me is a, is a lovely place to live. I'm not getting paid for this, it's not, you know, it really does come down to the fact that there's such a charming, if you don't live in Rickmansworth I'm sorry, you know, at the end of the day, <laughs> so if I'm talking to anybody who's not from Rickmansworth, it's just that these are the Rickmansworth scenes. This is Rickmansworth with his character with all its variety, um, with the kind of the, the things like the aquadrome, which I'm just thoroughly amazed by how beautiful it is. And I see that as a, as a little bit of the jewel in the crown. Um, and if there's anybody, don't put your hands up, but if there's anybody who hasn't been to the aquadrome, then please go to it and walk around it. And there's you know, a couple of lakes, and also walking along the canal. And the canal itself is just a, a, a fantastic change to the kind of the whole feel because I mean this is our industrial past this is where it all began and this link that the industry coming through Rickmansworth and how Rickmansworth sort of built up you know and actually you know that history and you've got the modern things like I've tried to represent as well because it's all very very easy as an artist to try and be sentimental and I don't want to be sentimental I just wanted to portray across the board this feeling of Rickmansworth Actually, that's why I put in in the corner 
it's not very well, you know, I didn't put it in a prime spot, but you've got Iceland, which actually, you know, is part of where we are. And I thought I'd be a real, uh, what's the word, I think, you know, a little bit of a kind of, um, it would be the sentimental artist that was actually trying to show things which weren't part of our everyday. And Iceland is there, it's in an ice cream, it's very popular. So I thought I'd put it in as part of Ravensworth. I, I was asked by Anne Shaw, she said to me, which is one of your favourite paintings? And that was you know, an interesting question because, I mean, these are all, in a sense, they're personal to me. Um, but the favourite, one of my favourite ones, is actually just a little sweet shot. And that one in the corner there, because actually that's just a, a cute little, probably 1820 or 1810, um, little sort of early Victorian, well, it's 1810, it's Georgian, oh, yeah, it's Georgian, yeah. So, so it may be, maybe that around that period, sort of a, a, a you know, late Georgian sort of period, but it's just the way that that little shop is so cute, and it's next to a solicitor's. And here tonight, <laughs> yes. here tonight, yes. you have Tom Darlington, who actually, funny enough, is, is the son of the solicitor, so actually is that, is in that, is that, sold on now, it's, uh, you know, so, it's, sold it's, yeah. so it's really interesting, <laughs> actually, to, to connect. It has been a fish and chip shop, didn't it? <laughs> 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 no, well, that's great, so you didn't know that, and actually, which one, was it the sweet shop or the solicitor? The, um, Yes, the one at the end, at the corner. Well, the corner, okay, the one on the corner, yeah. So I, I mean, I haven't been there that long to know that, but, uh, but you know, that's the thing, that this is all part of our history. And so the paintings are, for me, um, part of our history, part of our heritage, part of where I live, part of what I enjoy. And it's a real pleasure to be able to put them on and exhibit them here in Rickensworth. So I hope that the sort of general public can, fall, you know, can find their way here be able to kind of see them because I mean that's really what they're here for just for the um, I mean I have put them up for sale only because I was I have been asked to before but I mean the purpose of it really isn't to try and make money out of it the purpose of it really is for to show people um, you know what how great this earth can be represented by an artist. Um, these are the these are the uh, for anybody who actually hasn't been before most of you have. Um, and actually, uh, these are part of the train series. But these were done specially for the record. Hopefully, there will be little th areas that you, you perhaps haven't seen before. And one of them is, I don't know if everybody's seen the lion at the uh, memorial in the Rose Garden. Yeah. And actually, that's just a sweet little place. So I've put that in a quiet corner. Because actually, again, part of our history is, is the people who have made Rittensworth, and that's part of the people that went through the wars, that is represented by that fantastic lion. It's, uh, it's absolutely astounding, that lion is in the corner there. I don't know who's got one. I'm not going to go on because I, <laughs> I, I wouldn't give a long speech, <laughs> but um, I'm just pleased you're here. So thank you for being here. Thank you. Well done.